Welcome to Electron Align. Here's our next example of how to find angles with circles. We're given the problem in a text format, so let's read it and try to figure out what we're supposed to do. Tangents AX and AY are drawn to a circle O from an exterior point A. Radii OX and OY are drawn. If the measure from XOY is equal to 74, then find the measure of XAY. So, I've already drawn a circle, marked it as circle O, because that's where the center of the circle is, and there's an exterior point A. So now we have to draw two tangents from the exterior point A to the circle. So let's draw one like this, and one like this. All right, so we can mar mark this point where the line is tangent to the circle. Let's call that point uh, X, and let's call this point where meets the circle point Y. All right, so now they also tell us to draw radii from O to X and O to Y. So we draw a line from here to here and a line from here to here. And now they give us a clue. They tell us that the measure from X O Y is 74. So this measure right here from X to O to Y, this one here is equal to 74 degrees. Now notice, of course, it looks more than 74 degrees, but don't worry about that, it doesn't matter. It gives you the general feel of how to solve the problem. Now they want to find the measure made by the, the lines X, A, Y, so from X to A to Y, that would be this measure right here, and let's say X degrees, and so we want to know what that is equal to. All right, all right. Well, what we can say is that if the measure of this angle, and we have a point at the center of the circle, is equal to 74 degrees, then this measure here must be 74 degrees as well. So the measure of the arc from X to Y on this side must be 74 degrees. Then on the other side, the remainder of it must be 360 minus 74, so that would be 360 degrees, minus 74 degrees, which is equal to 286 degrees for this right here. Now, to indicate that we have the exterior and the interior angle. Let's put a point on here. Let's call this point B. And let's put, uh, put a point right here and let's call this point C, just as a reference. So now what we can say is that the measure of this angle right here is equal to half the difference between the measure of this angle and the measure of this angle or the measure of this arc and the measure of this arc. That's a better way of saying it. So what we could say is that x degrees, which is equal to the measure of the angle from x to a to y, oop, a little long here, x, oop, x, a, y, there we go. That is equal to one half the measure of x, b, y, so that would be x, B, Y, and that would be the measure of that arc, minus the measure of the interior arc, which is the measure of X, C, Y, and that's why I put the reference B and C in there, because that makes it a little bit easier, like that. Okay, now all we have to do is plug in the numbers and see what we get. So this is equal to one half the measure of this, which is 286 degrees, minus the measure of this, which is 74 degrees, which is equal to, that looks like, um, whoop, parentheses here, that looks like 212 degrees, and of course, oh, that would be half of that, half of 212 degrees, and that would be 106 degrees. So that's the answer we're looking for. The angle, the measure of this angle is 106 degrees, which can be found by taking half of this measure minus half of this measure, and that is how it's done.